When Abraham returned from Egypt, he was a very rich man. He had plenty of gold and silver. He also had plenty of animals and slaves to serve him. Abraham and Sarai looked after Lot like their own son. They went from place to place and finally settled back in a village near Canaan. He accompanied them everywhere they went and helped Abraham in looking after his livestock and farming. Over time, Lot was given a certain number of livestock to look after and some men to help him with the work. At some point, Lot got tired of listening to Abraham and doing only what he was told. He was unhappy and angry. One day, as he was by the lake taking the goats to drink, he met one of the villagers and started a conversation. Hello there, villager. Where do you take your goats to graze? Hello, they usually graze a bit far from here. I brought them here to drink. We don't have much water here. Hey, aren't you Lot, Abraham's boy? Yes, but I'm not his son. I'm his nephew. Oh, I see. So that's why he treats you like this. Hmm, what do you mean? I've heard that Abraham's flock gets the best places to graze while your herd gets the leftovers. That is sad. <laughs> Lot returned back to the house of Abraham in the evening. He was deeply disturbed by what the villager had said. Sarah noticed that Lot was sad and went to him. What happened, Lot? Why are you looking so sad? What's troubling you? Why does Abraham have the best of everything? He's not bothered about my well-being. I have been serving him for so many years. I have no place in his heart. His goats have the best grazing places and I have to lead my herd to get the leftovers. I'm the laughing stock of the village because of this. That is not true, Lot. Abraham loves you like a son. And so do I. If you feel you have been wronged, go over and talk to him. He will listen to you and find a solution. No need. I know what to do. The next day, Lot instructed his herdsmen to go ahead of Abraham's herd and lead his herd where Abraham's herd used to graze on the hills. Hey, herdsmen, what are you doing here? Don't you know that this is the grazing ground of Abraham's goats? Well, from today, Lot's herd will be grazing here. So take your herd and find some other place. Have you lost your senses? Do you know what you are doing? Take your goats along with you before I put you in your place now. Your threats don't work on me. We are going nowhere. And so, for the next couple of days, there were several arguments between Lot's men and Abraham's men. This eventually led to big fights between them. Men got hurt, and the herd got scattered away. Finally, one day, Abraham met Lot and talked to him. Lot, wait for me. We have to talk. Why are you avoiding me? What is going on with your men? Why are they attacking my men? I believe there is some misunderstanding. Talk with me. There is no misunderstanding, Abraham. I am simply taking care of my herd to the best of my ability. How long can I survive on your leftovers? You give me no choice but to do this. Somebody has poisoned your mind, Lot. You are my family. Why can't you just talk to me about this? All that is mine is rightfully yours. If you had the sense to just ask me, I would have happily agreed to whatever you wanted. Now, because of this confusion, our men are fighting each other and so many of our goats are missing. I'm 
Sorry, Abraham. I don't know what came over me. I felt I was cheated on and was not getting due credit for my work. Forgive me, Abraham. Forgive me. Abraham sat up the whole night and thought about the solution for this problem. In the morning, he arrived at a decision. He took Lot to the valley and opened up his mind to Lot. Lot, I have decided that we must move our separate ways. This is God's will and that is the way it should be. This way, you and I will be separate, but we will always love each other and be there for each other in times of need. You can choose where you want to take your herd. Either the plains of Jordan on the left side or the land of Canaan on the right. Whichever way you choose, I will go the opposite way. Finally, Lot chose to move to the plains of Jordan near Sodom. Thus, after living together for many, many years, Sodom and Abraham parted ways.